Good morning, Kim Hammer, pastor of Saleem Baptist Church down in Tall, Arkansas, with a brief morning devotion for you this morning, taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 3. One of the uh, greater Bible stories that we teach our kids in vacation Bible school or Sunday school, or we just learn about as adults, is about Moses and the burning bush. One of the things that was interesting is that Moses, it says, was tending to the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, which was not an uncommon thing because Moses, by profession was a shepherd so he would move the flock around from place to place because that's what it would require sheep you know have tendency to eat grass right down to the nub so they'd have to keep them moving around and on one of the times that Joseph was herding the sheep he took them around a mountain and it's called the mountain of Horeb otherwise known as the mountain of God and that name was given to it after we will find out Moses had a personal experience with God and that as he was walking around the bush and he was, you know, shepherding the flock, uh, a bush was on fire, which within itself is one thing, but the fact that it didn't consume the other bushes around it, that it was just concentrated to that one bush, uh, kind of attracted Moses' interest. And so he went over there to investigate to see what was so unusual about this bush. And what was unusual was the fact that God was waiting for him there. And the Bible says that the Lord spoke to him from the bush. Now, theologians believe that the voice that spoke from the bush was actually Christ and that he was speaking to Moses personally, similar to what I'm speaking to you. However, the difference is being in the presence of Christ was such a, a shocking experience to Moses that the Bible says that he, he fell. And the Bible said that uh, God called out to him and said, Moses, Moses is in the shake him back into reality because what he was experiencing probably kind of stunned him a little bit and Moses just uttered a very simple statement he said here am I within that simple statement though was a powerful message and that was that Moses knew that he was in the presence of God and Moses wasn't there to give direction or to give orders or to control the conversation Moses found himself in the presence of God and simply that all he could say is here am I he made himself disposable to God. You know, we go through life and sometimes we just deal with our mundane duties, you know, whether that's, you know, shepherding the flock or going to work or hustling the kids around to all the practices or just buying groceries, fixing supper, washing laundry, whatever. And sometimes we get caught up in the day-to-day -day routine to the point that we might need God to speak to us in a very direct way in order to get us to the point that we remember what we're here for and that is to serve the Lord, to answer God and to say, here am I. Whenever it is that God speaks to you, the challenge today would be this, that we would just simply respond by saying, God, here am I, and then he will send us on the way he wants us to go.